Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to publish multiple pictures on your Instagram story. Simple and easy. Let's launch the Instagram app first. Then you want to head to the top left corner and you want to click on your story and the plus sign. When you're over here, you want to select a uh, multiple pictures. Is that right? Okay, so go ahead and look at the top right corner. There is a small double square. If I click it, now we can simply opt in for selecting multiple images. Let's select these two images over here. Then you can press next. Now we have an option over here to edit some text, to add different GIFs, to add questions, to add uh, poll, right? Or we can actually mention someone. In our case, let's mention Apple. Why would we do that? Well, guess what? We have an iPhone over here. When we finish with editing, you can press next. And there you have it. You have two options. You can share this as your story. You can send this to close friends, which is this option over here. And then you can send this through messages. Simple and easy. And this is how you guys publish multiple pictures on your Instagram story with one simple click. Okay, for example, let's look at this video over here, right? Very cool, very nice. Let's say we want to create a remix on this video, but we don't want to use the whole video, right? There is a particular part of which we want to use. So all we got to do is to click on the top right corner on the three dots, right? And now, if you look at this top menu over here, the last option on the top menu is sequence, right? If you click on sequence, essentially to make it longer shorter or essentially to cut the piece of which you are actually interested in when you finish just simply press next okay now with this particular feature over here you will be able to use your camera right and to recreate this video by you know replying to it and instagram will also uh, allow you to edit so for example you want to use this small piece of it you can make a commentary you can reuse it by uh, simply putting your input tagging the original content right and simply recreating the the, the piece of work this is the new feature because uh, it's very good an example of which if you have a longer reel right but the part in which you want to make a comment or you want to make a, a, a remix, right? It's right in the middle. If people didn't watch the whole reel that you're creating, people will be confused which part you're trying to emphasize on. But now with this feature, you will be able to cut out or cut off the exact piece that you want to uh, act upon. So this will make so much sense and make much more easier for you to create your own content and at least keep a larger audience engaged through the video. Then you want to head to the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. Then you want to head to the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You want to click on the three straight lines and then you want to click on settings and privacy. Then you want to scroll down and you want to find a section that is called who can see your content. You see account privacy is the first option. You want to click on the account privacy. Currently, my account is public, but if I want to hide everything, I can simply toggle this on and it will turn my account private. What this actually means, this means that all the content that I previously posted, all the followers that I have, all the following people that following me simply will not be available for other people to see. My content only will remain available for my current followers and Everyone who comes to my profile and sees, for example, I have 100 followers and I'm following 100 people, they will be able to see the number 100, but they are not going to be able to click on this number. They're not going to be able to scroll through my followers or through my following list. This is very important. This is how you keep up with your privacy. This is how you prevent particular people to, you know, dig in. Uh, and essentially trying to, you know, create something negative for you or your own content. This is how you actually go about providing a protection on your following list, on your followers and on your content. Again, a very important note is that if you have a business account on Instagram, you're not going to be able to turn it into private. 
from business account you have to go back to the personal account and then you can make your personal account private uh, this is very important note i, I want to make sure you guys are aware of this then you want to grow on your profile bunch of posts let's say for example we want to archive this one over here you want to click on the three dots on the top and you want to click on the third option which says archive you click archive and there you have it the post is no longer on the actual feed as you can see the post was number one the post is no longer here let's say you did a mistake let's say you like this video you want to get this video back and you want to unarchive this video how are you going to go about it well it is not so complicated but i would say it it is very very slim because if you go back to the three dots on the top right corner and then when you click on archive the fifth option over here you have three options the default option will be this and when you go here you're not gonna find what you just archived because it is a post it is not a story also you have live archives live videos that you publish or you went live right so this is why this is the slim part like i mentioned you have to go on the actual type of content that you archived in our case we have two videos this is the first one we actually archived so let me show you how we are going to unarchive this video we're going to click on the three dots on the top and then you're going to click on show on profile boom the video is no longer archived the video is no longer inside the archive we have one more video i don't know when and why i did actually archive this one again three dots on the top and then show on profile boom we have no longer posts on archive very simple very easy then i want you to click on the lower right corner on your profile picture then i want you to hit the top right corner and click on the three straight lines now i want you to scroll down to the section your activity is the fourth option i want you to click on it then when you're on your activity you want to scroll down to removed and archived content i want you to click on recently deleted and here you will find all the deleted posts, all the deleted stories, IGTV, all the deleted videos and reels, including highlights on your own profile. Everything will be over here and you will simply be able to click on it and restore the content. Very easy, very simple. So basically in this video, what I'm going to be doing is uh, we're going to be talking about Synthesia in a very quick way. So Synthesia is basically a generation platform where you can create an AI video using these AI models over here uh, and some texts, okay? And it's totally free, no credit card required. Just sign up with their page and uh, they give you 140 plus avatars, 120 plus uh, languages and accents, and 60 plus pre-designed templates. You can also create your own avatar, but that does take some cost. But yeah, this is how it's going to look. They're going to give you a standard avatar. You can add videos over it, and then you can also add text prompts under it. So, Synthesia.io, use it right now and get the best free video AI generations. So, you can upload images where you can ask it questions regarding this image. So, let's say I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload this image of a bun, and I'm going to write, What is this? Okay, I'm going to write that. I'm going to click on enter. Now, once you write that and you ask, what is this? We're going to wait for it to search up and it's going to give us an explanation on what this image contains. So it says, you know, I cannot access and process the image. Obviously, if the image is a bit blur or if you don't provide the image's link, it might do some mishaps, but it will generally tell you what the image is. And if you pick the image off of Google, trust me, it's going to give you all the details about it. Like you can pick up any image from Google Images and you're going to get the data you want. So that is basically Google Bard AI, and that is how we're going to use it for ourselves. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Bing Image Creator. It's very, very interesting, guys very useful you will be able to create amazing designs as you can see over here these particular images are simply powered by dali 3 which as you may have guessed is extremely powerful very important first thing you want to click over here join and create you want to create in after you sign in right with your account in our example over here guys we are going to create something unique we are going to create a city 
in the middle of the ocean that is looking like New York City. Well, guys, now we are waiting to see what will be the result over here. Very, very interesting. You know, it is it is easy to use. You don't have to have a specific particular knowledge or you don't have to be a designer or, or creator. You can just use your imagination. It usually takes uh, a while, but it depends on the traffic, depends how many people are using it. If you can see over here what uh, has been given here as an idea, as an inspiration, if, if you can see there is uh, an astronaut, right? That is not actually in the space. It looks like he's floating somewhere else. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Just look at this. Look at what we created over here, guys. If you click on, on one of these images, right? You're going to essentially have this amazing, amazing creation. So, guys, what we can do with this, first of all, you can click share, right? You can share this uh to a website you can share you can copy the link you can uh you know put the link inside your blog post you can come over here on the plus sign that you see over here you can essentially save this into your images because you have a collection right usually people create collections or you can click on the three dots over here and simply click download this is simply uh unbelievable as you can see the quality of it is saved in 262 kilobytes so it is not a large uh, format right so you click over here you click download and then you simply download it okay this is how simple it is so if you look at the other images so if we close down we can look at wow well, look at this image guys this is simply unbelievable just think about how you can utilize this in your own you know world just you see we have a two uh stages of liberty right you have multiple crossing bridges it's absolutely stunning and this has just been generated and created from uh like i said just one simple prompt look at this so guys this is how simple it is if you want to change something right you can click on the text underneath and you can essentially add to your previous prompt for example uh you know if you if you want to come over here you can simply create and you can add more to the items the more important part over here is that uh, you have this uh, small uh, lightning on the side uh, so this might essentially means that creating images more quickly with boost that will essentially help you to speed up the whole process right this is kind of an upgrade so uh, essentially you can utilize many many functions but this is simply mind-blowing guys for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and come back for more hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use the magic media studio and how you can utilize different projects by simply using the ai image generator from canva all you gotta do is to come over here on the apps inside the canva app and then you want to scroll down and look for different apps that are currently trending you can find something that you like you can find something new you can find something that is recommended from the app itself but we are going to look for magic media we're going to use magic media because this is the proprietary and it's uh, very very fast it works easily you will be able to understand exactly how you can generate images logos and other projects so when you come over here you want to use a brand new design if you don't have an existing one that you want to change when you click create a new design we're going to use the ai image generator to create uh, some new social media post so previously we did some logos we did some uh, you know small adjustments but as you can see over here you can create a t-shirt design right you can sell something we have a desktop wallpaper so for example, if we wanna create a desktop wallpaper, this simply will change the ratio, the ratio of our image. So the way how the magic media works is that you will have this window where you're going to input your prompt. And then 
if you scroll down you can essentially change the layout or the filter or the style of which uh, will apply to your image also if you want to change the aspect ratio to a landscape in our example simply because it will be a wallpaper right you can do it so create a hawaii vibe uh, place uh, with infrastructure like New York City make the beach in the middle of the city around times square okay let's see <laughs> let's see how this crazy image would look like guys but essentially this is how it works so you're going to get like a four different versions of this image generated from the ai and you can pick which one you like uh, if you don't like any of it or you you want to change something right you can simply uh, scroll down and you will have an option like for example I can come over here and we can continue our prompt we can include more stuff as we like to right we can add more details and we can click generate again this will give us another example if i click on one of the images and simply make it larger this is one of the benefits of ai you probably wonder what is it the benefit is that even if you make an image large this will not ruin the quality because this is not a jpeg right this is why this is so good and this is why we we really like it so essentially this is how nice and if i zoom in you could see that this looks awesome right can you imagine this really to, to be true <laughs> we have this crazy crazy beach it reminds me of chicago to be honest with you guys but this is how you can create a wallpaper using magic media on canva ai for more tips like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use ai image generator on canva very easy guys very simple the first thing i want to do is come over here at the canva.com you want to stay on the home page and when you're over here you want to click on the upper left side of the screen where you see the three straight lines this will launch additional menu and then you're going to click on the apps then you want to click on discover apps so you want to make sure you browse all the apps over here so the first thing that we're going to focus is we're going to actually look for the uh, canvas own proprietary technology app which will be magic medium so in this example we are going to utilize magic medium this is the first icon over here in this example we are going to use the ai image generator of canvas AI we are going to create a brand new design and as you can see over here you have a like a pre-made templates for anything that you want to create so for example if you want to create a story if you want to create a logo if you want to create a email newsletter presentation anything is here guys so for example if you want to create a instagram post you have the square option over here in our example we're going to create a logo and the way how this actually works is that when you come over here you have to type a particular prompt when you type the prompt you also have to choose underneath the style of the prompt so in our example we are going to create uh, new york city Uh, in the space with flying cars and uh, what else what else and like a connecting roads in the space to other uh, planets 
okay guys so we we pick this one and we're going to select our style you can you can just pick something else right you don't have to be uh, some of these styles but you can collect all of these styles these styles will change the way how the image actually looks like after it's generated i don't like any of it you can also have the option c also you can pick more styles but i want to see how the city will look like without the, the actual filter on top so as you can see now the ai generates the image based on our prompt uh, usually works uh, pretty fast as you can see now we're, we're having the first image already generated and it looks very very cool the second one oh look at yeah i think i think this is very very nice so if you click on the image itself you will see the best thing about ai is that even if you adjust the size of it right it's still going to look very very cool it's not gonna reduce the quality as the usual jpeg that you will have i want you to remember this now if you click on the upper side you can essentially copy uh, you can paste elements on top of it like a usual canva project uh, remember this is something that will will find its 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 shape and its form right so this is how you change the current aspect ratio and then you can essentially go back or you can create another file over here and create a markup for uh, let's say a collage right let's go back and let's see how the other images actually look because the main idea was that when you actually utilize canva magic uh, uh, media right this is just one tool remember it is very important for you to know exactly what you want to create and to input as many details as possible the more details you input inside the prompt the better the output and the results will be for more tips like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to use ai image generator inside the canva app in the previous videos, we went through animation apps, we went through DALI, we went through Magic Studio. You want to make sure you watch these videos, guys, so you understand how to use these apps, what kind of results we got. In this example over here, guys, I'm going to go through Imagen. So this is uh, essentially based on AI software coming from Google. Uh, very, very interesting. I have a huge hopes about this. I read uh, good things about it. So let's jump in the first thing that you want to choose is are you going to create something from scratch like we are planning to do or you have existing project in canva app that you can import and start working on it in our case we're going to choose a brand new project and we're going to create i would say uh, i would say something nice photo wallpaper this sounds cool okay so as you can see over here, turn your text into photorealistic AI, a beautiful oil painting of Bergen. You see what are the results. So let's dive into the prompt itself. Create a painting of Monte Carlo. During the winter let's see what we're going to get guys so google imaging will simply give you only two variations dali will give you two variations uh the magic studio will give you four variations so the result content does not meet our policy what is the policy i don't know oil painting of monaco another try we didn't use any brand, right, guys? We just used the name of the city, Monte Carlo. They, they thought we were probably talking about the Casino Monte Carlo. <laughs> okay, guys, we do have some results over here. Wow, look at this one. Let me type for you. So you can always make these pictures larger by simply dragging the corners. I don't like the, the ratio of the template, right? We have to move it on the side so we'll be able to see, but I think it's so pretty, guys. It's so beautiful. Do you see all the details of Monte Carlo? It's beautiful. All the 
the marina and everything just think about now if you have like some of these crazy printers that can print like the actual materials right they can print with with particular like uh like a pronounced design that it could be like you can touch the whole difference in the buildings right it's amazing this is how you can use imagine from google guys i think this is my second favorite the first one still remains to be magic studio from canva ai for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video